Hello and welcome to a sneak preview of Diablo 4. Um, I did play the beta last weekend or a couple weekends ago and I thought this other be uh, open beta was coming up. Um, and sure enough it was uh, two days ago and today. And today's the last episode of it, so or um, day of it, of the beta. So I decided to give this a try. And um, I would played my character the other beta opening and it's a barbarian and it's a whirlwind based uh with fury so how we um we we want to spin around and do the whirlwind attack but we don't have enough fury so i use bash to gain fury so i hit the guys and that creates fury and i can spin around and kill things even better um i don't i have these things but i really don't use them too much so we're in a dungeon I've got a Barbarian, we can zoom in on him, and um, I use a highlighting thing so he actually stays highlighted, and we're just exploring and we're about to hit level 25, so this is going to give you an idea of what a level 25 Barbarian with not very good gear, I've got some, a few legendaries, I think those are, yep, legendary gloves and they have special abilities, um, increased damage for... for each second you stand still, however, I'm a whirlwind guy, I'm not really standing still, so that's not the best idea for a, for a guy. My two-handed weapon that uses uh, for Whirlwind is this one, and we, we have four weapons that we can uh, have equipped at all times, which is kind of interesting. And then it automatically chooses where you can decide which one to use for each one, but this is auto-used, so it's going to automatically use this one, and it does a stunning... Stunning a bleeding enemy deals 72% of their bleed damage. I don't like that, really. So, um, any kind of, like, damage over time is not really great because I want to kill everything within a second or two. I don't want to wait five seconds to kill something. Um, less the better. So, I did just find these two weapons in this dungeon. And the dungeon, we, we just came in here and right in. And if you complete a dungeon along the way, it opens up even more abilities and things like that. Let's see. Shift C, maybe it's some of these. There's a lot of different things. And then there's your ability tab. And this is kind of like a talent tree. I wish it was a little bit bigger. It would be nice to be able to see it. You start off here. You can, you, every level you go up, you get little things you can spend it on. So I spent it on bash. Then I enhanced the bash, but I went down here and picked up whirlwind and improved it. So I'll, I'll let you see that. There's the whirlwind. And I actually get some fury back, which lets me do more whirlwinds. And I've reduced the cost of whirlwind. Let's see, gain one fury back. Yep, that's been highlighted. See the little red? That means I've used it and highlighted it. I can't go over here because you can only two, choose one of these two. And I went with violent whirlwind. After using Whirlwind for two seconds, it gets even stronger, which is kind of nice. I gained one Fury back and three versus elite enemies. And then I just went down and I took some other things. Um, this gives you the ability to unlock these things. I've got some thorns on me. This is only level 25 and it goes to level 100, your character. So, <laughs> I, yeah, this is just a, a very basic kind of build that will get you so far. No worries. So let's go and actually do some stuff. Can I go in here? Oh, it sounds scary though. <laughs> There's something screaming on the other side. You can press tab and just look at the map that way. And it does leave footprints behind. Ooh, there's some skulls. Never seen those before. Let's go in here and fight. And I have a... Oh, this is kind of serious. More serious than I thought. I've got a that blue thing on my um, health on the left is... Let's see if I can spin around. Kill these ads. Oh, he stunned me. I used my health potion. Let's see if we can get to that guy and get rid of him. Oh, spin. This is intense. This is one of my one of my stronger fights. 
I don't know how loud that is. Oh, I got a legendary drop. Boots, very nice. That was a little intense. Whew. I don't know how loud that is. Let's see if we can turn it down a bit. Just, it's hard for me to tell how loud it is. Let's go with master volume down just a little bit. <laughs> Close, save. Okay. I get five uses of my um, healing, and then as you kill things, it um, drops those little health potions, and that gets them back. Now, with my um, character, why I was able to live so often there was, let's see, the ring. No, not that one. There's a, an ability that I have on one of my... Damaging an elite grants a barrier absorbing 383 damage for 10 seconds. And it can only happen every 30 seconds. So I get a little uh, thing around me there. Also on this, skill grants 25. If I if I bash somebody my, with a basic skill, I get a damage reduction there too. So I, I have a lot of damage reduction things. Here's my boots. They have... Uh, no, they're boots. There's nothing fancy on them. Oh, 4% Fury cost reduction. That's kind of nice. Because then this only, it normally costs 20 to do it. But it costs 17. So I can, you know, I can sustain my whirlwind longer. But let's see what we got for these boots, if they're worth taking. They have better armor. They have the same evasion thing. Movement speed, 40. Evade briefly grants like a sprint. While unstoppable, and for two seconds after, you gain 22% increased movement speed and can move freely through enemies. That's nice, but I would be losing my whirlwind. Let's see. I'd like to wear. I'd like to wear these, but let's find out how much my whirlwind cost goes up. 18 per second. So we'll just set these over here, and if I find out that the man whirlwind is a bad issue, then I won't do it. So let's uh, improve the. The two choices we have for our weapon that I just I just found these and you can scroll down and see more stuff. Ooh, a new salvage look, okay. I don't care about the legendary effect of the bleeding thing. I might have cared there a little bit because the creatures were actually living. But let's see. We could do this one. Fifty three more damage. Three ninety dot. So this one's more powerful, and what does this do? Overpower damage, blah blah blah. Attacks per second. 18% damage to healthy enemies. So if they're healthy, I mean, I don't know what healthy means there. 9% critical damage. Overpower, damage to slow. Let's just use this one. It's a little bit, a little weird, but... Also, I want to get... Oh, see that? So if we pop that in there, it had a, it had a socket right there. And this, if you put a put this in a weapon, this crude skull that you found, they, they drop all over. It'll give you six life on kill. Not a life on hit would be nice, but a life on kill. So as I was killing things, it was replacing six life too. So there's a lot of things that were helping me through that. So let's go find out. Well, we did we did kill that thing. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. Or that event. That was kind of weird. Let's kill this guy. Must be. Maybe that's an elite as well? Oh yeah, it said elite right above him. So I get that nice barrier. That's beautiful. Don't I have enough fury. Might be switching back to my other boots. I mean, it's not that big a difference. 18 versus 17, but it seems to make a difference of some sort. And I just push tab. I wish it would let you walk. Continue to walk, you know, as you... As I press tab, then I don't get to steer around anymore. Well, I know when there's an elite because this pops up on me. So if I... Oh, unsanctified something there. So I guess... Oh, killing that thing... Killing that big guy must have broke down that barrier. Yeah, that's not so bad. Boots are okay. Then I just smash into that guy. And then I just clean these guys up. You can, oh, very nice. 
What are those boots? What do they give us? The unstoppable. See, I don't know what. I don't think I have unstoppable as a as a feature. I don't see myself sprinting faster all of a sudden. Did I go the right way? Yep. Interact. I don't have an object. There must be like a thing somewhere. And I just wanted to give you guys um, an idea of what a barbarian level 25, almost 25. Ooh, he's a big guy. But he's not. It doesn't say elite when I hover over him. Huh. But I still got the bonus. There must be. I think I have two ways to get that uh, barrier, maybe through um, one of my um, skills. Look at that. Oh, boy. Yeah, I do love, uh, from Path of Exiles, I like the um, Whirlwind Cyclone. So uh, this is kind of this. And I just like being... Um, Kind of unstoppable, unbreakable. Uh, <laughs> um, what is this? Is he spawning these guys? Ooh, they froze me. I also have a skill that puts a little bit of a fortify on me, which is nice. Ooh, take those wooden shoes. Wooden shoes. <laughs> they are wooden shoes. Oh, I can't interact with that yet. Let's take these guys out. I'm getting a little distracted. But it's nice. It's um, I'm not. Uh. What do you call it? Um, oh, I got a, is there a guy to kill here? Why can't I interact with that? There. Retrieving. I got something. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the thing that uh, just replaced. Boots. And you just hover over it and it compares the two. I think you can set that up so it auto compares. A little bit better. Moves freely. Do I have movement speed on these? Yes, I do. 6% movement speed. Um, I, I might just throw these on. Because that unstoppable thing doesn't really seem to do anything. We'll throw those on. We'll put these over here just in case I want to use them. And that... You can actually um, salvage these things into a bunch of material that you can use to craft and do, do other things. So, Or you can just sell it for gold and buy more uh, stash tabs and stuff like that. Looks like this little thing must have... Yeah, I have something on my back there. So, more than likely... I have something on my back that I didn't have before. Oh, there's a rat running there. Can I put it on there? And I gotta go get the other one. Oh, there's a little icon. Oh, that's a shrine. That if you hit the shrine, then... Get like a special power. What I have noticed is swapping, you know, if I'm mid swing and I want to, uh, all your hits are critical now. Let's spin around and hit these guys really hard. Oh, very nice, very nice. Oh, level five on my two handed axe. I'm low on fury. Oh, I'm low on fury. I feel a little like I'm actually moving faster. Oh, come on. We'll use a health potion. Why not? Oh, there's some pants. Legendary pants. Getting close to level 25, although I don't know what... Oh, that unlocks a, um, a dungeon. There was a dungeon that had a requirement of level 25 to go in. Maybe it'll team us up with somebody? I don't know. Yeah, I kind of need, like, a leap ability... A leap ability would be nice. Let's grab these pants. And then we'll take that thing. Let's look what the pants give us. All right. Where are our, our pants? Oh, right here. So our current pants on the left there grants that 25% damage reduction. Yeah. I mean, that's okay. But it just makes me a little tankier. Now these are... Also legendary. Okay, so now I look at the comparison. While injured, your potion... Oh, look at that. The On the left. While injured, your potion grants you 30% maximum life as a barrier. So when you take a potion, you can... It's kind of pretty tanky. There's Oh, there's the leap skills, too. I might have to find that leap skill. That way I can kind of leap ahead. 
But on top of that, it really didn't... It, it, it's such a cooldown. Like in Path of Exiles, you can just leap, 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 and just really fly around. This one has a cooldown, so you can't really use it as a movement skill. On the right, plus 40 maximum health all the time. That's like a 10% bonus to health. And that's the max. See, it has an 18 to 40, and I got a 40 on it. I got some thorns. Rank 1 efficient uh, kick. Life generation while not... Re oh, so these grant me life regen on the left. And now here's the legendary effect. Oh, and it has a socket, too. What can I put in there socket-wise with armor? Damage reduction. Um, armor, damage reduction over time. There's some more armor. Barrier, 4% barrier generation. Don't really understand that, but some more thorns I can stick on there for damage. So what's the actual uh, legendary effect of these pants? When hit while not healthy, okay, a magical bubble is surrounded you for four seconds while standing in the bubble. I'm immune. Eh, let's put them on. Let's have fun with these. I think I can just uh, right click. There we go. We'll put those over here, and we're going to put the thorns in them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what uh, my thorn damage, I, could, I guess you could look it up. Go like that. And then scroll through things. This will be kind of interesting to see what the final game turns out to be is once they release it. Attack speed bonus, weapon speed. I don't see... Oh, there's thorns. I get 117 deals damage to attackers when... Hit by direct attacks, exclude attacks that are entirely damage over. Damage dealt is affected by the skill damage increase. So when they hit me, I I hit them back for 117. I think that's pretty good. I'd have to I'd have to compare it with a a uh, a thing that you know a character that doesn't have any thorns on there, and then see how you know kind of do the same dungeon. Even it'll be interesting to test things out. Alrighty, let's put that on there. Um, the movement does seem kind of, you know, like, slow. Oh, what was this, the... I'm, I've got my hand over the, uh... Lots and lots of characters. I like it when there's a lot of characters to hit, because then I get my, uh, I can sustain my... Let's see. Oh, there's a... Look at that, a vulnerability bubbled. Pretty neat. Oh, gosh. A little close. A little close call, but not bad. I noticed that when I when I got hit like that, I couldn't use my health potion. You know, it was, I was like, I'm dying here, but nope. I couldn't use it. I mean, I pressed it. I'll have to double check to make, to make sure that's the case. Can I bash this door? Oh, I can just open it instead. A ranged character I think would do pretty well in this game, because I don't have to sit there and walk over to everything. But I do like the cyclone slash whirlwind thing so much that... There we go. Oh, let's bash that open. Oh, nothing. So can I bash that? And I've noticed during the, um, the beta that you know, you're walking, and it'll be like jaggedy, kind of. Yeah, like a little bit of lag there. That's not from my computer. That is, that's from the game's engine side. That will spin. I'd like the um, the whirlwind to be more responsive as well. It's like when you're swinging, 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 and then I switch over to whirlwind. I want it to start whirlwinding right away. But it doesn't. Like, I'm swinging, 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 and then kind of... It's just a delay. It doesn't feel smooth. It should feel better than that. Melee already has enough, uh... Enough problems, as is. Don't need jankity stuff here. Greed Shrine, what does that do? Enemies drop gold when hit. Well, that's nice of them. And what do we have? I'll just go up here. Yeah, those barriers are really nice. That's a full... That's almost like my full health barrier. 
It'll be really neat to see, um... Oh, look at that. Oh, but that kind of makes you want to stay inside it, too. <laughs> God, those hit hard. I guess that purple on my health there, when it popped there, meant that I'm vulnerable. I'm, like, taking, you know, like, more strain, uh, strenuous hits. Can I just hit that? Yep. Oh, and it pops that up to full, too. Let's knock, knock these guys out. We're almost at 25. And... There we are! Oh, not enough fury. Now we're at level 25, so that's the max you can be during, um... During the game. Let's spin around and kill all these guys. Alright, or during the beta. And the abilities... We have expertise. So we got rank 5 in this. And then we can unlock this. R to track. Let's kill this guy off. A nice hit. Alright. When using a 207.5 damage to vulnerable enemies. I'm not really sure how to make them vulnerable. Maybe like a Vulnerable hit enemies take 20% damage. I'll have to figure out how to make things vulnerable. Rank 10, increased critical strike chance against vulnerable. So I just have to figure out, I think it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how, if anybody knows how to make things vulnerable. Maybe, I think it might, my gut says like, like a big hit will make things vulnerable. But that seems to be what happens to me. Oh, we get us an ability to spend something. What can we buy? Can't get down there because we only have one point. Well, we could buy one-handed weapon. Nope. Wrath of the Berserker. Six lucky hit chance gain berserking and unstoppable for five seconds. Let's do that. Oh, and that's number four. I just got to remember. Yeah, it's key binding wise. Can I drag that over there? Yep. So just one and then Q. Okay. And what I'll do is, I don't think, I don't know if you can um, rebind these. You probably can, but if not, I've got a mouse that I can just rebind a key so I can just go unstoppable. Let's do the uh, <laughs> unstoppable right here in a second. As soon as that bubble around me goes away, I'm going to use unstoppable. Nice. There's the health of this big Tomb Lord, the top up there. I'm in pretty good shape here. Well, there's the countdown on my uh, unstoppable thing. Oh, I can't. Can I spin through those things? Oh, hey, easy there, buddy. It's kind of nice that I can dip, dip back into that thing. Oh, well, I've got my absorption thing up. I can almost do another uh, unstoppable. Come on. Unstoppable. Am I actually unstoppable? <laughs> I don't like the, the thing that they put me in there. I'll heal myself. Let's knock out some of these guys. Yeah, it seems to be that those things interrupt my... Uh, my whirlwind when I get hit by that thing it like interrupts me oh it's nice that I can bash all this down come on let's get over to him but I'm not too worried about death <laughs> I say that as he smashes me there we go yeah I just gotta stay away from those green bubblish areas 
Yeah, I don't like those things. Not bad, we're just chunking them down. Another heal potion. And we got our heal potions back. Did we get a... It would be nice if they would have gave us a... Legendary out of that. Dungeon complete. And I think that gives you some kind of like a an ability that you can choose from. Uh, let's see what we got here. Probably not. Deals increased damage when you stand still. That doesn't help us. So, um... Attack speed... Lucky hit chance, double swing. This is probably just better. Oh, plus one rank whirlwind, barbarian only. I would lose. Yeah, I don't want to do that then. And the weapon. So we go, go back to our weapon issue. Overpowered. Oh, but that's this weapon, so it's not going to be my whirlwind weapon, I don't think. We'll just throw that on there and see what happens. There we go. Can I get out of here? There is a way out. Um, e and then leave dungeon. Okay. We completed it. Does it show what it gave us if I hover over it? There's a bunch of stuff at the top, too. Like that thing I need to do. I was heading this way. This quest cannot be completed in this version. Oh, actually, I think I was heading there. That. Claimed. Claimed. Maybe let's go over there and see what happens. It's red. Maybe that's a, an elite dungeon. Yep, level 25. Oh, boy. I think I'm going to get crushed in there. Oh, what are these guys? Kind of popped up on me. Okay. We'll just run right by these guys, because why fight them, I guess? Maybe if they, they can drop something, but we're heading over this way. Oh, hello, person. Level 6. Why is he level 6 in this area? And it probably scales. That's why he was probably able to fight those guys so easily. Orvane. Get some iron chunks for crafting again. It's a long ways here. I think you can get mounts so they can actually move faster around here. Come on. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, absorbed. Nice. Pretty easy stuff. You can actually traverse just like that. Oh, that, see in the top right on the map, there's some kind of event over this way. And if you enter it, and this is a multiplayer event too, so I've had it where other people come along and... There we go. Just spin to win. Is that it? No. Must, oh, there's a, a jar of sound. 52 seconds away. Can't click on it yet. I like it when they send tons and tons of creatures at you because it just helps me sustain my... Uh, see, my fear is actually going up when I'm fighting these things. And I imagine once you get a better gear set that you're going to be able to sustain the whirlwind much easier. I'd only need like a couple more pieces of gear to make it really decently sustainable. 17 seconds. Let's spin around. Yeah, it is It is a lot of fun to be able to do that just to... Oh, he's a bad guy. We'll overpower him.
Rampage. Go berserk 40 times. Hm. Okay. We this was an event. Oh, we got a helm. And these murmuring things you actually trade at a there's a guy in town that you trade and you can kind of gamble with them. Is that something? A crude ruby. I wish it would kind of leave those things on there longer. Let's see what we got. We'll drag the ruby down here. Oh, that must have a, a socket in there. This thing. Okay, legendary glove. But that has my, my whirlwind rank, an extra rank of whirlwind on it, so I don't want to give that up. Drag this down here. All right, here we go. Adventurer's Helm. So it's the same helm that I have on, but it's just a better um, uh, version of it. So this was a 258 that I had on. This is a 324. So you can get better versions of the um, legendaries. And at rank one, what does it do? Seven extra fury. Oh, that one goes up. Life rendered. What? This is this is significantly different. The one on the left has the um the fury. I guess we can scroll down. We could see. So we'd lose the um the total the, the armor if I equip that and the max fury. But that's the max fury is not a real issue. Damaging elite grants you 495 of damage. So we'll pop that on, and that gives us a, more than our full health. <laughs> And we'll just pop that down there. Does it have a socket? Nope. Let's work our way over here. So you can get the same legendaries, but upgraded versions of them. Well, look at that guy. Is this an event? Nope. And I don't know what that was. Oh, he's got like a bunch of uh, helpers. Oh, we could do this event together? Let's see. Is it going to respawn the same event? I guess the Jar of Souls event, 54 seconds away. Let's see what happens differently. Well, I like this guy. We can, we can get an idea. Level 15. Now the creatures scale with him. But his creatures are... Uh, his friends are, uh, whatever those ghosts are that he has, are just destroying everything. Yeah, these things are all his, he must be like a necromancer. So we just teamed up for that, and what do we get? Either person can open it. We'll do that, and we'll take Ruby and that, and for now we'll just leave this, it doesn't really matter. It's going to reset our characters when the game releases. I'm not even sure. June? Oh, that guy's growling and chasing me. Yeah, so I suspect, it, just like in all the other games, the, um, the, can we hop across here? No survivors. Oh, this place is space, and we can duck underneath here. Oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Looking at the map. Ooh, we got a nice little area here. The smaller growths are protecting the larger ones. Okay. This is a serious fight. I guess this is... A, I don't know. Vampiric something. Am I hitting this or hurting it? Oh, oh, it's a level 27. Barbarian battle. Hmm. Kind of figuring this out. Is there a way to go across there? Maybe. See that little red thing? I kind of want to... What's that say again? 
stronghold. This is a strong. Oh, he's a big guy. He had like a. Well, I'm trying to figure this out. I don't seem to be damaging this incubator thing. Let's see if I can get my way around to the other one. Will they drop out of the sky? <laughs> This is nice. That is satisfying. So I guess a couple times I came close to dying, maybe once. It's so nice to have that barriers up and Is there a, a thing over here? Three hundred eighty-eight. Okay. We just walk near this, and it picks it up for us. There we go. He's got some kind of leeching thing on me. There we go. And yeah, I'm not seeing how we can. Uh, Purge of the Vampiric Corruption. I don't seem to be making any progress that way. Oh, is there a thing up here? That little icon. There. There we did. We just did it. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I love it when there's lots and lots and lots of stuff to kill. Oh, there's an incubator. But we can't damage the incubator thing. Okay, we can walk back out. I'll pop a potion. Is there another... Uh, oh, there's a little... See that little icon right there? He's like linked on, onto me. I don't like that. Is there a way to climb over this? Oh, it did a little more damage to the, the Empiric Corruption. So this is giving you a good idea, rough idea at least, of uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, is there a Corruption in here? Looks like it. Yeah, so I'm looking around for these Corruptions. Spinning around, doing those things. Oh, and they're... Yeah, they really... Uh, they really hit you so hard that you can't even use your health potion. That's an incubator and it doesn't let me go by. There's some more corruption. So there's that bar that I'm working on right over here. All right, starting to make some sense. Let's take these guys out. Very nice, very nice take these guys out too. Oh, they're calling down strikes from above. So I'm looking around for those incubator things. I don't know where... Oh, maybe there's an incubator. Not incubator, uh, corruption. Well, there's a corruption. I'm trying to ignore this other stuff. Is there a way up here? Yep. Climb up here. There's a corruption. What else do we got here? Is there another corruption in here now? Did it respawn? No, that's an incubator. There we go. So I'm looking for those. Is there one over here, maybe? Yeah, see that lag? I, I suspect they'll have that lag fixed once we get out of beta. At least I would hope so. Ooh. The room leads beneath the cathedral. What? That must be the source. Ooh. So I guess that's the thing that we gotta do. Gotta knock out, I guess. 
Oh boy. Yeah, I knew this uh, beta was happening pretty soon, but I just I, I looked down there and go, oh, it's the last day. <laughs> Is there one here? Oh, that's the incubator. Oh, but how am I hitting that? I actually hurt the incubator. I guess if it's highlighted like that, you can actually hurt it. Oh, there's a big guy. This is a more serious fight. Oh, and he's got one of those beams that he's launching on the ground. Is it going to hurt me? Yeah, a little bit. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Okay. Halfway through that. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. Oh, we can zoom in. So maybe I can go kill that incubator over there. We'll climb down and find out. It's highlighted on the screen. Like it's something I can go attack. There's our thing. It's up right below the sea. So let's find out. Can I actually hit this thing now? No, I can't hit this one. But I could hit the other ones. Hmm. Don't know. Is there one over here? Climb back down. Run around this way. Guess I'm looking for the, uh... It's a little weird. I mean, it's the first time seeing this thing, so it's a stronghold. <sighs> Vampiric corruption. Master of the thing. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how I can hurt that thing. Maybe I gotta kill everybody around here? Yeah, it's not killable and that's where we want to go I assume once we uh what's this I'll take it you be by the light. Like a your master has 906 hit nice you are surrounded by that which you find most vile Jeez, she sounds really upset. Righteous hunger consume you for all eternity. Uh, this seems like not. Oh, I'm just looking for those corruptions, I guess. Still, the one over here. No. What am I not seeing right or correctly here? I'm trying to read everything on the screen, but. Maybe, oh, there's a little pot. What's that? Oh, that's just a, yeah, so I seem to be in this. It wants me to go over here. Purge the dragon corruption. Here and here. So we, this didn't seem to be the answer, though, in here. Maybe climb up there. Knock these guys out. That was a nice swing. Took them all out. Is there one way over here? <laughs> nope. What's a little... If you got to click on all these things to unlock different abilities too, I guess. I don't know. We could hop across here. Oh, there's one corruption. Hidden way up there. Oh, I can slide down here? But I can't go up there. Oh, there's the, there's the air like that. Is this going to let me hit it now? Nope. Oh, yeah. Yes. No. Look on it. If there's any, um. Yeah, it doesn't seem to let me hit the thing. And it just. Oh, we're up to the other under the other sea now under there but I don't know if I can get any um if I'm getting 
credit for these things. We might be. Right if we get under the O by doing this, we'll know that we're making progress, I guess. Don't really think we're making progress. Can I hover over this and it'll tell us? No. Very strange. Is there one up here? Yep. And we're just going to kill this guy off. We didn't really advance the thing for... Oh, there we're, we're, we're under the R now. Slide down here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Something happened here. Does that mean I can hit that thing now? Yep. I think so. Yep. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. So, oh, boy. Knock all these. Oh, that's a strong guy there. <laughs> We're under the P over there under corruption. Oh no. Uh, I was so close. MMO gaming guy. Start. Am I going to be come back dead? I've got a lot of things that allow me to live. Um Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let's go up there and see. Did it stop my progression? Explore. Okay. We'll find out in a second. A disconnect should not... Not really do anything, should it? There's the guy. Oh no, it reset it. Reset the event. Well, if you guys, I mean, you can skip ahead to the part where I actually finish this out if you want. But I'm curious as to what it does, and then we'll wrap it up from there. But yeah, now I can't do that. I was, oh, am, am I hit? No, I'm not hitting it. And now we're, we were up here, and now we're back there, just because of a disconnect. Oh, now it's got different light, uh, at least I better understand this now. Let's just find the things that we have to break, those, uh, corruptions. There's one. Kind of ignore those guys. I think that grave, grave dust, although I, I don't think I'll be doing anything with it. Let's go up here and find out if there's anything up here. So it looks like you kind of look around for these things. And that, by killing them, it unlocks. See, now the, the barrier, the yellow barrier is gone. And now I should be able to walk up here and kill this thing. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. I just couldn't find those things very easily. Spinning them around. Gaged Lieutenant fuel. somebody. Let's kill this big guy. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Just like that. Perfect. Now we're a third of the way there. Let's go find out what's over here. We'll jump up here. This makes more sense now.
So the orange thing is uh, sort of like a barrier that is around the thing. Okay, we can slide down here. We're looking around for any kind of uh, corruption. <laughs> but it's definitely fun to smash through things like that. Is it pointing me right to it? Now that's the incubator. Up here, let's find out when that gold light goes off. Or gold ring around that incubator. Is this the one that turns it off? Nope. See, I wanted to spin there earlier than that and just wasn't letting me. It was clunky. Is there one over here? What was that? Don't know. <laughs> Clicking on stuff, end up getting killed. Close to it. I need more fury. There we go. Let's see if this turns it up. Yep. Now we can go over there. Build up my fury for this fight. And there we got the. Lieutenant Horde Bird. I'm out of fury. Pretty neat fight. We'll go find the last one and knock that out. And then we'll be able to go through there. That'll be a good wrap up point once we can actually go over there. Just don't disconnect me right before I get into that fight again. I'm assuming that the the corruptions are down here for this one. Oh, there's a corruption. They're pretty intense fights. I need more fury. Oh, I'll take that. Is there one over here? No. Is there one up, up this ladder? See, it's kind of janky. Uh, is there one across here? Yes. Well, now you guys will know uh, what this thing's all about. Let's see if we can jump back over here. I bet you there's one I'm low on fury. over here somewhere. Uh, oh, it's down there. I see it. Can I jump down? No, but I can climb down. Right over here, we just knock this one out. And then build up my fury and get this ready. Now let's take these guys out. And then we're gonna knock this thing out. And we'll be able to go in there. That absor absorption shield really does make uh, life pretty nice. I need more fury. Build our fury back up and take one health potion. Yeah. Yeah, this is a. So, just to give you an example, I mean, this is a very clunky build. There's no, you know, I'm not optimized in any real way. But I'm still able to get through this content. I think I could do it deathless. Um, I may have died. Not really sure. I don't think I've died very much at all in this character. Like, why am, why am I fighting that guy? I don't know why. Yeah, this is not good damage either, I would say. We're going to walk up here. And we're going to unlock the thing, and that'll be the... Uh, the demo for this. Can I hit this thing? Can I get in here? I'd like to go in there, please. May you forever be shunned by the light. Like a rabid mongrel. Is there a way to open it? On your and all you. Slay the remaining sanguine knights. In your hands spread like blood from an open womb amongst your kin until you are surrounded by that which you find most vile. <laughs> She's very upset. May your righteous hunger consume. Slay the remaining sanguine knights. Did I kill them all? So I guess don't leave any, you know, <laughs> hanging out. 
Oh, there's a red dot. Did I not finish this guy off for some reason? I'm out of fury. Destroy the vampiric aber aberration now it says, okay. So this must be the vampiric aberration. Um, can I hit this thing? Not if I'm not at full if I'm at full life it doesn't let me do that. Oh boy, here we go guys. Nilkar. Making damage. I think those potions um, on the four vanish after a set amount of times too, so you might as well, you know, might as well use them. Oh, don't touch that thing, that's bad. Half damage, come on. Oh. Never done this fight before, so... <laughs> Oh, let's get over here. Oh, no! I saw it coming to it. It just... 10% revive at checkpoint. Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't think I've ever died like this before, so I don't know. Oh, it resets the fight. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I might not be strong enough to do this. So he jumps over here. Does that. Oh, whatever that is, it's bad. Whatever that is, that firing right into my face thing <laughs> is my f stuff still good? I guess so. I don't know how I avoided it last time. Oh, I have a little barrier on me that time. <laughs> Come on. Should I try to kill that other ad? Feel like I should. Yeah, I don't like those things. Yeah. I... Come on, let's do that. Otherwise, I'd have the three ads on me the whole time. I don't think I like that idea. More fury. Oh, see, when I was in his face like that, he was just pummeling me. It wasn't a good thing. Oh, did he resurrect him or something? Easy. Whatever those things are, I don't like it. Oh, he's kind of like stunned. Well, let's go pick up this thing. Oh gosh. Well, this is an interesting fight, I'll tell you that. Ugh. Oh, come on. Come on, let's get this guy. Oh, he's gonna res resurrect this guy. Oh, he's doing his thing. I can stand in my bubble, though. Heal. Let's knock this guy out. Stun him to death or whatever. Oh, he's chaining me. I use my overpower. I got him. Oh, I got a chest piece. And even this stuff is probably good. That was a pretty intense fight, as I was saying, you know, things aren't bad, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, we did it, and we did the stronghold. Let's see what we got out of this. Alrighty. Here's the chess piece. It's better than we have by far. Leap creates an earthquake. I don't have Leap, but, uh, interesting. Challenging Shout. 
Um, better all around. I'll take it. This is probably better. Thorns. Here's a new amulet. Rank 1 mastery all weapons. Now that was really a, a, a nice item, so I kind of want to keep that. But that seems like a good point to wrap up. Um, challenge full frenzy. Interesting. Whew. That was in a pretty intense fight, and that gives you an idea. Uh, I wasn't really using these things too much. I was just focusing on my basic attack and my whirlwind. Um, if I pick different ones, or if I was a different class, I imagine these things become more prominently important. But like Steel Grasp, um, Rupture, I could have ruptured the guy, but they kind of feel clanky, clunky. Like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. This one is good because it's kind of an AoE and it just does its thing. And then, uh, yeah. Well, I hope this helped. I hope this gives you an idea of what it's like. And uh, let's see. Let's do a wrap up on this. Aspects? Nope. Expertise, abilities, paragon levels. We're going to have those. Skill assignment? Right here, the skill assignments. Wrath of the Berserker. So it looks like just different things on here. Show available. Hide unavailable. Hmm. Pretty neat. And that's, I guess, how you drop these down. Kick. All kinds of stuff. So, I hope this helped, and uh, it's an interesting game. We didn't go to town, but towns you just kind of do things in, and uh, I think just like Path of Exile, the game really doesn't start until you get to, well, like, level 70 or 65 when you start doing maps, and in this game, there's maps and everything eventually, I believe, to do, and dungeons and all kinds of things. So, this is just the campaign. It's only to level 25, so you're really getting just the basic, basic stuff. So this, the whole point of this is just to get through it as quickly, as smoothly as possible, and then unlock uh, the, the actual game at 50 or 60 or something, and then work your way up to 100. And there are Paragon levels. It looks like there's some kind of... Yeah, right here. So you unlock those and get stronger. There's going to be a lot, and there's so many... Um, stats under here so I mean there's lots and lots of things that you can uh, damage increased while standing still <laughs> that's your effects bludgeoning weapon damage all these different things that you can improve on and get better at to make the game you know just to make just destruction potion charges um there was I don't see it or how I <laughs> These things you gamble with. But that's just give you it gives you an idea. Maximum fury, fury cost reduction, fury regen, movement speed, cooldown reduction, damage reduction in PvP. There's a lot to it. And I'm just I'm not even showing you everything. There's there's a lot more to it. I just forgot where it was. Um R? No? T? Oh, we can go to the town. And we just teleport off to town. Higher tiers, grant you more experience from killing. Okay. There we go, and we're in town. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Level 20s. Looks like I'm little, only level 25. And just to get... Oh, and we'll end with a, a view of the map. Just like that. I I leveled to 25 just in these areas. You can teleport around with waypoints. There's all kinds of quests. You can actually ex extend out the quests like that. Campaign, you can sort them. All kinds of stuff. Collections. Interesting progress. Well, I hope that helps. Uh, it gives you an idea of just the Barbarian whirlwind type class there's probably a lot other i mean there's so many other things to do 
have a good one and enjoy. If you like this kind of content or you like th seeing things, I usually do um, series of playthroughs of things. Uh, but I wanted to jump in here and just do a one-off uh, because the beta. Have a good one and enjoy.